Hi guys, Farhan Tipu here and today we've got you the Zebronics Drift smartwatch with us. This watch in my opinion is really good because of the features put in for such a budget friendly price tag. From voice assistant to games, this 1999 watch has outdone its competitors in this price segment. So without wasting any time, let's start the review. In the box, we don't get to see anything much. All we get is the watch, a QR manual and a magnetic charging cable. The watch has a metallic frame with a non-interactive crown. It has a square dial with slightly curved edges and even when the bezels aren't that thin, it gives a premium look while you wear the watch. So when we come to the display of the watch, it has a 1.69 TFT color screen. The colors are decent and bright when we look at them under sunlight. The fitting and comfort of this watch is good as well and it weighs just 45 grams. The metal strap is of decent make and light. You can also get to see a silicon strap option in case you don't like the metal strap variant. You also have five colors that come with this watch which you can choose from before buying the watch. I did notice a slight lag at times while using the watch but I'd like to hope those will be taken care of after more updates come in the future. When you swipe from top of the watch, you get to see a panel of options to control brightness, D&D mode, a battery saver mode, flash, settings, etc. When you swipe from down, you are shown your message notifications. When you swipe right to left, you are shown your recent calls, contacts and a dial pad. Swipe right again and you'll see this is a shortcut to your activity, heart rate, music control and weather. And you also get to add any one feature that you might like. When you swipe left to right, you're shown a quick access menu showing you all the apps that you've recently used. Here you can access your complete menu on the watch as well. One interesting feature is that you get to choose 8 different kinds of grid display according to your preference. So the UI is good overall and the experience with this Drift smartwatch is good because of all the features packed into this budget priced watch. At the back of the watch, you will get to see the sensors that will show us your heart rate, SpO2 as well as your blood pressure. But this device should not be used for medical purposes even though it has these features. Please visit a doctor instead. The watch has a IP67 water rating. This means that the watch can survive immersion in 1 meter for up to 30 minutes, which in my personal view is just okay. Talking about the battery performance, the watch runs on a 250mAh lithium polymer battery, which according to the company claims a backup of 7 days. But in my experience, it goes on for 3-4 to four days with all the features and functions activated. From my view, this is pretty decent for a Bluetooth calling watch and it takes up to 2.5 hours to get it to full charge. One of the highlight features of this watch is the Bluetooth calling feature. You can add 8 of your favorite contacts here to show their names on the watch when they call. You get Bluetooth 5.1 for connectivity. When it comes to calling, it works decently and you will not find any problems with it. Let me make a call test and show you the performance. Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me bro? Ah, uh, yeah man, I can hear you clearly. Why do you ask? Oh, no, I, I was using the watch to speak, the Bluetooth watch, no? So I just wanted to know if my voice was coming out clearly. Oh, you do sound the same as usual. I couldn't make out any difference. Interesting. Oh, okay, thanks bro. You should also know that this watch can play music as well as provide an audio output for any video that you'd be watching on your mobile provided that the watch is connected to your mobile phone. You get 100 plus sports modes like walking, cycling, skipping, climbing and many more. So you can use these modes appropriately for whatever sport you like. I used it for skipping and it showed me the time spent and the calories burned and tracked my heart rate as well. But I suggest you personally to go try out the sports mode and see the tracking performance for whichever sports you're into. The sleep monitor also works okay, but I'm not sure if it is entirely accurate. It just shows us the hours and minutes slept. There are four data points for when we wake up, REM, light and restful. In case you're bored, there are four games available on this watch, which according to me is pretty thoughtful. The games are Battleship, Floppy, 2048 and Hamster. Yes, I've seen watches with games as well in this price segment, like the noise icon Buzz, but those had two games while this one has four games. The other common features are we have the voice assistant support for both Apple and Android users. We've got a weather forecast, a stopwatch, a menstrual tracker, a water reminder and a meditative breathing app. You also have 100 plus watch faces as well to choose from. You also get to see other features like controlling music through the watch and also your shutter control where you can use the watch to click photos through your smartphone. 
So one thing you should know that is when you get the watch, you will need to download the ZepFit 20 series app before we can start using it. Once you've downloaded and paired the watch, in the app interface, you will get to see how many steps you've taken, the hours that you've slept, your heart rate, BP, SpO2 and other data. You can also set notifications of other apps such as text messages, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, etc. for your watch from this app. Overall, the app is easy to navigate through and user-friendly. So coming to my final verdict, if you're looking for a smartwatch with many features, including a pretty decent Bluetooth calling experience, while keeping a low budget in mind, then this is the watch for you. But if you're a fitness enthusiast who wants to see complete accuracy with your data, well, I wouldn't recommend this for you. So this is it guys. If there are any questions that you have, please leave them below and I'll be happy to get back to you. See you next time.